What is going on, everybody? It's Paint Monster, and I'm back today. And I got two games for you in this episode, week five and week six. And as you can see, we're four and zero in this season, and we're we are doing very well, better than I expected with this Rams team. And looking out to go get another win in this upcoming game. And team's looking really good. We still we still are rocking with Austin Davis at quarterback that 59 overall rating. Uh, picked up EJ Gaines. We got Zach Stacy. I'm sure I highlighted that in a recent episode. But we're facing the Dolphins here at the Edward Jones Dome, or as they like to call it, the Rams Dome. We get to kick off first, which we've been doing a lot. So Greg Zerline, he's gonna. Get his leg all ready and kicks this one off. The man kicks 60 yards in a basketball hoop for a living. I'm dead serious, dude. Perfect video. Look it up. But anyway, here we go. First play of the game. Back in the pocket. Trying to get the pass first going. Aaron Donald, he throws a slant right over the middle. And he gets hit hard. So here we go. Third down and five. Needs to convert here. And you see me using James Laurinaitis, and I can't quite get there. That seemed to be James Laurinaitis, by the way. First 10 and 10, he's at my 30-yard line. Handoff up the middle, and he gets some yards going right there with Brandon Oliver. And now it's third down and seven. Can we get a stop here? And I go to cover the guy going to the left when I should have stayed in my zone in the middle. So first down and 10 to go here. And as you can see, he is chewing up all of this clock, trying to milk it all down, making his... Hot reads, and he's going to roll out of the pocket, and he's going to be able to get some yardage going right here with Mr. Andrew Luck. I face Luck a lot, and he tries and jumps, and we hit him, but can't cause a fumble. He's down at the one, and he's going to try and hurry it up here, third down and goal, trying to get the playoff, and he does a play action very smart. I tried to come up with McLeod, but I dove too early, and he scores on a very smart play action call right there. I expected him to run the same play, the same quarterback sneak, and does the play action fool me, and he gets seven points on the board. So now I get the ball, 12 seconds left here in the first quarter. I'm going to hand it off to Mr. Benny Cunningham. In Team of the Week, Cunningham he has been very good so far during his time here. Second down and five to go, and it's going to be the end of the first quarter. We're down seven to nothing. So it's first down and 10. We got the ball at our own 31-yard line. Davis throws a slant route to my man, Tavon Austin. I might have had Jared Cook on that streak. I don't know. Might have had him, might have been picked off. Second down and one. After that nice little run there by Cunningham, I'm making, I mean, sorry, pass to Tavon Austin, making my adjustments in. And we're going to go to Tavon once again on the slant route as we're going to get past midfield. And Austin Davis looking very good. Now it's second down and four. Davis is going to back up the pass. And he's going to throw it to Mr. Brandon Lloyd, Mr. Catching Traffic. He does catch a lot of balls in traffic, but then he cutting in up the middle, breaking a tackle. And now we're at the four-yard line. It's third down, two to go. And what do we do? Well, we're just going to roll out of the pocket with Austin Davis and his 74 speed. And he's praising Jesus in the end zone. I like it, Davis. I like it. Shades of Tim Tebow right there, Austin Davis has. And Greg the Leg, like a Tron, kicks it up straight through. Tied up at seven. And now we're going to kick off the football to him. He's got a minute and one second left, three timeouts. Very doable, very doable for him to score here. And he's going to, you know, run around in the end zone and take a knee. So 50 seconds left, second down and one. Andrew Luck back to the pass. He's going to try and run, but he gets stripped. And we can't get it. Fourth down and four. A gutsy call here at his own 26-yard line. Play action, and I almost I didn't get the user pick I wanted, but pass gets broken up. We have the ball. 31 seconds, three, two timeouts at the 27. We can at least get a field goal. We're going to hit up Tavon Austin. Once again, as he's going to almost get that first down. And I got a field goal on that drive, so second down and 11. And throw pass to Jared Cook, and I don't have the rest of the gameplay because Sheriff Factory did not want to record the last half, but EJ Gaines got an interception. He rage quit. We ended up winning by the 10-7 score. So 5-0 and this year, 5-1 and overall, the first game that I played of this team was uh, in a live stream a while back if you 
do not already follow me on Twitch, the link will be in the description, but it is PaintMonster22 on Twitch. I also have a Twitter at IamPaintMonster, follow me on there. I do not have a Facebook or a MySpace or an AOL group chat fax, just Twitter and Twitch. So heading into this next game, we're trying to capitalize off this momentum that we got as we are 5-0 and on this year. Like I said, Austin Davis doing very well as quarterback of this team. And let's see who we're going to be taking on. We are going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. At home once again, and well, once again we get to kick off. Which I think everyone likes to kick off the ball first. Everyone likes receiving that ball in the second half, especially if you got the lead. Get the ball second half, all and all you and all you need is a score really in that game. Although you know sometimes it does not work out that way. He's gonna return here with T.Y. Hilton spin move jukes me out of my shoes, and he's got the ball here. So we pass forward, third down and one. He's gonna run it up the gut, and he gets the first down with Mr. Nile Davis. So now it's third and fourteen. He's got Cam Newton back there. He's got the three wide receiver set play action, and he's gonna look. He's gonna. Fire it down the field and it almost gets picked up. And I think that was Ronnie McLeod back there. But he punts it off to us and we got Mr. Benny Cunningham breaking tackles and he's going to get a nice little game there. 12 yards, third down and two to go. We got Cunningham back there. We're going to run it up the middle and Cunningham does what he does best and that is get yards. Now it's third down and six sacks. Stacy in the backfield, the usual third down back. We're going to try and throw a screen pass. Stacy's going to get any looks as if he almost goes out of bounds, but he does not. But we only get a field goal out of this possession. But it's all right. We stopped him first drive. We'll take our points. So he's got 312 left here in the second. He's got two timeouts. He took one early in the ball game before third down because wanted to rethink things, but that's what the timeouts are there for. And we tackle T.Y. Hilton at the 21. And he's at the 20 now, lost a yard, third down and 11, he's got Cam Newton back there as I want to play coverage with Chris Long for some odd reason. And he gets the completed pass first down. Now it's second down and four, three wide receivers to the right. He's got Cam Newton, he's gonna throw it over the middle and once again I just do not feel like playing where I should be and that is in the middle of the field. Now he's gonna run some hurry up offense here with Cam Newton and company. Same formation, I'm making my adjustments and I'm going to try and get a pass rush going with Michael Brockers. He's going to throw it over the middle for the first down. And now I got the ball back after he scored, which I did not feel like showing apparently. So, here we go. We got time left. We throw it over the middle. Tavon, not over the middle, but Tavon Austin on the little streak. We call timeout. We got 13 seconds to go and I don't have the clip here but what ends up happening is that I really do feel like Austin Davis is Tim Tebow and has speed and I rolled out to the right side I fumbled and his defensive lineman returned it for a touchdown so and it then becomes 21 to 3 because he baited me into a user pick pick six sheriff factory has restrictions on how long these things can be I'm sorry I I know, I need to get better at this, but it just starting out anyway. Fourth down and six here, and I really have to convert it. We throw it to Brandon Lloyd. I call him Mr. Catch and Traffic for a reason, so now we gotta hurry up. We gotta, we're still in this game. We get a score, we get a stop. We are right back in this ball game. So we're at our 47-yard line, 53 yards away from Pater, and we hit up Steady B. Happy birthday to Steady B. As it is his birthday today, hope he's enjoying himself. First down and 10 now at the 34 after we hit up Mr. Bailey, who was on that nice uh, fake punt. And Austin Davis completely misses, I believe that was Brandon Gibson. And throw the pass, dangerous pass to Lance Kendricks, who was tied for the team lead in touchdowns on the Rams in real life with four, but that does not matter. First down and 10. It's an audible here. We got some streaks, we got a slant with Jared Cook, and I'm hitting up Jared Cook. I'm sorry, Lance Kendricks, my apologies. Now we're hurrying it right back up again. I did pick up BCA Jared Cook, by the way. He will be featured, I believe, in the next game I show you guys. As Benny Cunningham up the middle to the five-yard line. 
And once again, got to hurry up the ball. We got to get a score as quickly as we can. Gonna make some hot routes with Davis. Davis is gonna look. He's gonna fire a dart to Tavon Austin. And somehow, someway, that split three or four defenders right into the hands of the 5'8 Tavon Austin. So we kick our extra point, 21 to 10, minute 30 left in the third. He's got the ball, third down and six. We need to get a stop. He's punted to us earlier. We get a stop, he'll probably punt to us again. He's going to scramble Cam Newton. He's going to look. He wants to scramble. He gets stripped. And we can't get the ball back. Aaron Donald on the strip. But he does indeed punt us the football. 30, 33 seconds left. 33 and counting. We got the ball back. Four minutes in the fourth to go as well. We are still in this. It's Tavon Austin back deep for the punt return. And we're not going to get anything going as he does his little, I don't even know what that was, a little soft ball into an invisible cushion. Now it's second down and five. Look at what Davis and Brandon. Lloyd, my man. The catch and traffic specialist. What can you say? It's second down and ten. Davis is going to back up. He's going to look and he's going to get hit as he throws. And the middle linebacker could pick that off. But fourth down, ten to go. It's crunch time here. Davis looks and throws an inaccurate pass because he's a uh, 59 overall Austin Davis. And he will be, and, you know, he'll throw inaccurate passes. So he's going to run up the middle. Nile Davis here on second down and 10. He'll get a gain of three. Third down and seven. Newton looking and he gets it over the head of my corner. We hold him to a field goal though. Which is very key because we're down by two scores. We got all three of our timeouts. Two minutes, seven seconds left. Third down and seven. We need to convert. Davis looking. He throws a screen pass to Zach Stacy, who's going to go up the field. Can he beat the guy chasing him? And he can. He pushes him out of bounds. So second down and ten over the middle. Brandon Gibson. He's going to break some tackles. He's going to get to the 14-yard line. We're, we got to hurry it up. We got to keep pushing. Got to keep going. We got to get a touchdown. Third down and one. And we're going to hand it off to Benny Cunningham up the middle. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. Falls forward seven yards. One of his guys gets hurt. So an injury timeout. That is charged to his team. At the seven-yard line, we need a touchdown. Cannot settle for anything less at this point. So first down and goal. Davis will throw a little two-yard drag route to Brandon Lloyd. But we got to hurry it up. Second down and goal. Davis making his reads, gonna get some routes going here, he throws, he's gonna back up, throws it, and he picks it off, and that is going to be the end of the game. So go one and one in this episode, and without further ado, I will see you guys later. Wonderful job by the defense that time, they stayed after it, and inside their own 20, they finally come up with a play. They get the interception and they keep... <laughs>